Well, nothing I can do about that. So let me just hit purchase real quick so I could feel something. Down, Millennial. Cease. How could you be so irresponsible? What? May I live? You should endeavor to be like me, debt free. Sir, obviously I would love that. How did you do it? Ah, easy. <sighs> My parents paid for college, I got a six-figure job right out of graduation, mm -hmm. I lived rent-free mm -hmm. in an apartment that my daddy bought for me because I'm his special boy. And I ate nothing but grape skins until I paid everything off. Now, what you need to do- Okay, we're fighting. Oh, please, I'm fragile. Hi, all. I'm Berna. This is Help Me Money. And that was Travis. I paid off my $50,000 in credit card debt and student loan debt, but all the male, pale, stale money advice I got along the way, not cute. <laughs> You're just jealous. First of all, if you've got debt, there is no shame in it because you are a part of a very big crew. The average American is looking at over $6,000 in credit card debt, which is adorable because I had 12,000. Not to mention our nation's 1.57 trillion trillion dollars in student loans. <laughs> yep, can relate. <laughs> Did someone say trillions? If you're trying to build a plan to get out of debt, I got you. The Travises of the world have advice. Okay, but I will translate. Ready? First, you must assess the interest rates of your debt holdings and prioritize for compounding. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. First of all, what? And second of all, no. And here's why. You never know what life might throw at you, right? Can this year not be an example of that? Not yes, thank you. Debt, she can wait. Life emergencies, she will not. So before you even think about making a debt payoff plan, do you have an emergency savings? Come here, come here. If not, check out our last video. We'll make you a plan. Well, I thought that was a given. Yeah, you would. Anyway, when he said, Assess the interest rate. Mm -mm -mm, T.O., stop, stop. What the <laughs> is an interest rate? Most debt comes with an interest rate, which looks like a percentage. Think of this percentage kind of like a shipping fee or taxes when you're shopping online, right? You look at a website and you think the sweater is $30, but after shipping, handling, taxes, all that, the sweater is more like $42. Oh, what? <laughs> This is quite nice. That's pretty much how an interest fee works with debt. Say that you owe $1,000 on your credit card, right? But with an interest rate, let's say the interest rate is 15%, you actually owe $1,000 plus 15% more on top of that. So instead of just owing your $1,000, you actually owe $1,150. It's like getting punished for having debt. That's not as nice as this. Now, credit cards, credit cards, I'm looking at you. Credit cards tend to have interest rates that are the highest, like in the 20s. So focus on paying those credit cards off first. Interest rates sometimes are weirdly hard to find because why would they want you to know how much money they're putting on top of your money? So call your credit card companies, call your student loan companies, call your banks and ask them exactly what their interest rate is and write it down. And hello, bonus round. Ask them if they can simply lower it. Simply asking to have a lower interest rate has worked for a ton of people. Mm. <laughs> may I keep this? Now, once you have assessed your interest rates, you may choose between two debt payoff strategies. <sighs> Mom, he may actually have a point here. Go on, Travis. <laughs> the names are quite fun. You see, first there's the snowball method. <laughs> Translation, pick your smallest debt to pay off first so you can get that Bam, quick emotional win, right? And then you're motivated. Then you attack the next biggest debt, then the next biggest debt, and the one after that. Keep rolling like a snowball, eh? Oh, oh, the second method is the avalanche method. How clever. Translation, pay off your debt with the highest interest rate. Technically, it's the most expensive debt. So that after that, paying off all your other debt just feels easier and easier and you roll down the hill like an avalanche. It's momentum, momentum, momentum. Ah, uh, comparing money to snow, I declare. The truth is, there is no one right way to pay off your debt, okay? I personally paid off all my debt with a sort of snowball avalanche remix. Fick, 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 fick. But more importantly, I used a free debt payoff calculator. There are a ton. Hit the Googles. Remember, get the bots, get them to do the work for you, and then plug in your numbers and see when you want to be debt free and how much you'd have to pay every month to hit that date. Money and snow. <laughs> you want to know what else helped me with my debt payoff? I got a debt payoff buddy and made debt payoff posters like a kindergarten now.
Okay, before I let you go, do you want to see a little moment of debt payoff inspo? Mom, I'm about to submit my very last uh, student loan payment. Uh, just do it before it expires. Ah! <laughs> Simply precious. <laughs> I'm Berna, your financial hype woman, and we are keeping it airy real. <laughs> financial literacy, so velvety. If you're looking for more financial hype on your money journey, come find me at Hey Berna. Travis's bank. Pretty skillful, gotta say. Are you wearing my shirt? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Mine is yours. <laughs>